everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. I'm so happy to have you here. Let us talk about, well, tonight, the newest episode of Teen Mom OG will be on MTV and we'll probably get some dribbled down version of the truth. You know, fake storylines. Macy will be complaining about Ryan. There'll be probably some stuff with Amber because that's been the whole series so far this season has been all about Amber and how she, you know, affects everyone else and everyone supporting Amber and her DV. And then we'll probably have something where Kate and Tyler are sitting in a kitchen and Kate's not really doing anything, Tyler's not really doing anything, and they're not really doing anything together. Now, a lot of people have wondered over the years, how do these teen moms actually make a living? Well, it's estimated that these guys make anywhere from $25,000 to $40,000 an episode. Yeah, that's right. These kids can pull in. Well, they're not even kids anymore. They are adults. Caitlin is, what, 28? Amber's 29. Macy's got to be pushing there, too. And Cheyenne, I don't remember. She doesn't matter because she's irrelevant. She was added way later. Then we have, um, oh, Mackenzie. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's them. Okay. Caitlin and Tyler. Like, what have they actually done? Well, apparently they have some sort of t-shirt line where apparently they sell shirts and clothes. But everybody who is an influencer and their mom sells merch. So that's not really saying a whole lot. And it doesn't appear that either one of them have really set their lives up for what's going to happen after Teen Mom OG is over. Now, if you remember, Tyler's mom, Kim, has always been so critical and wanting the kids to go back to school. Like, she's always like, Tyler, what are you going to do when this is over? This isn't going to last forever. Well, for these guys, it's lasted forever in terms of reality TV world because there's not as many shows on air that are still plugging away after as many years as they've been on. But here we are. Um, the show debuted in 2009. It is now 2020. The show is still on air barely, but an interesting development just came about. So we know that other teen moms have been sort of smacked with tax debt and not and failing to pay their taxes. Well, I thought Amber Portwood was the worst. Amber Portwood owes like 200 and some thousand dollars in tax liens. And I thought that was bad. And that was until the son out of the UK reported that Kate and Tyler failed to pay their uh, federal taxes for three years. That's right, 2016, 2017, and 2018. And apparently the federal government has now placed a lien on them for over $800,000. So here are the documents that the Sun actually posted online. You can see that for it has listed that they owe $535,000. Um, that was actually posted on their records for 2016 and 2017. For the filing years they um the last time they oh my god how do you owe five hundred and thirty five thousand dollars so you're telling me you owed two hundred and seven thousand dollars but you just didn't pay it how do you like who do these kids have accountants do you think they actually have accountants how do you not pay $207,000? Now I get it, okay, first off, there's a lot of things that happen when you own a business, right? You know, you've got your 1040s, you've got your 1099s, you have your different contracts. They are not technically um, employees of MTV, so they would get a 1099 at the end of the year, meaning that it's unlikely that MTV would take out any taxes. Now anyone that's smart or financially astute would tell you that you should probably save, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40% of whatever it is that you get in a 1099 and also pay taxes quarterly. So you can do federal taxes paid quarterly if you're a small business. And technically when you're a contractor like there are, you're sort of considered a small business. So rather than doing that, apparently they just didn't pay their taxes. And so this was what they had that was put on earlier this um, in 2019. And then a third one for $321,789. $321,789. 
535 plus 321. That's like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Almost a million dollars that this couple owes in taxes. Think about that. Now, when you look up net worth online, it's apparently it says that Tyler is worth 1.2 million. <laughs> Not anymore. Not if he owes $850,000 in taxes. And Kate is supposedly estimated at a million dollars as well. Again, not if you owe $850,000 in taxes. Now, tax liens are actually filed by the federal government in the state, and then the state actually places the lien. The problem with tax liens is if you don't make good on them, you can get into serious trouble. Like Uncle Sam really, really, really wants their money. They're not going to just let you not pay your taxes. Other celebrities have gotten into situations similarly. I mean, I can think of one in particular who is facing 12 counts of an, a 12 count indictment for not failing to pay their taxes. And that's Todd and Julie Chrisley. And then you've got Mike, the situation from Jersey Shore, who also didn't pay his taxes. And he had to go spend time with the feds at the place where you go when you go on vacation, but you're not really on vacation. You're just kind of on vacation, but you're not really on vacation. You're actually doing time. So typically when a tax lien is paid, you'll start to work with like an attorney or a tax attorney who will help to set up a payment plan or set up a extension. Now, according to the Sun, when they contacted the clerk of the court, they haven't paid these debts. They had a previous lien that was placed that last summer where they owed around $32,000 and they did pay that lien, but I don't know that they were anticipating a tax lien for $321,000 and $535,000. That's a lot of money. Do you think that these people have $850,000 just sitting in an account? Tyler says that his girls are all set up he was actually bragging about all the money he had recently because the show has afforded them so many opportunities and such financial freedom that the girls' colleges are all paid in a trust that they can't touch and that they, well, they can technically touch if they want to. Um, any guardian of a trust can touch it if they want to. So the girls apparently, Veda and uh, Nova, have trusts for college but I highly doubt they have $850,000 in taxes or have cash in a trust fund for a college. That just seems awfully high. So what do you think would be the reason for not paying taxes? Like, this really makes no sense to me. Obviously, if it's the last 16, 17, and 18, and they haven't had previous debts for other years, why are they not paying their taxes? Why are they avoiding their taxes? Why, why do they think they can go on TV and be on TV and make all kinds of money on TV and not pay the taxes? Do they have bad financial advice? Do you think it's really tacky that they're on TV then bragging about how much money they have and how set for life their girls are when they actually have been not paying the federal government? And can you really say that it's an error if you haven't paid for three years in a row? Can you imagine how hard it will be to get out of this? That's a lot of money and I highly doubt that if they, oh, I, I have, I'm of the belief that if you could pay something, you would. So if you had the money, you would pay the money when the money's due. You wouldn't just like be like, oh, just kidding. I didn't pay that. I'll pay you back tomorrow, Uncle Sam. No, they're gonna pay the money if they have it in my opinion. So maybe they didn't have the money to pay and they were like paying, hoping the next year they would make the money. But if this is the problem here, Teen Mom OG is not doing well in the ratings. It's pretty, it's bad. It's tanking. It's last week, it was 713,000 people. It dropped from a 3.9 or 0.39 with a rating of 0.39 at the start of the season. And it's dropped 0.36. It has lost over 130,000 viewers in the weeks that it's been on air. And I don't anticipate, I don't anticipate the viewership is going to increase. It's only going to decline. People online are completely um, tuning out because of Amber. 
They don't have storylines outside of Amber. People are tired of Macy and Ryan's storyline. So what are they going to do once they're not on air? They don't have their $30,000, $40,000 paycheck. They're not even making $835,000 a year or $40,000, $50,000 a year. How are they going to pay this? And then they're going to have to pay money for 2019. It's like they've gotten themselves into a massive hole. And you can't owe the government money. The government will always get their money back. Always. So I want to know what your thoughts are. Is this a product of them not having good people in their lives? Are, is it a bad accountant? Is it just being poor spenders and splurging on horses and traveling all the time and buying stuff that they don't need? Is it spending without thinking about where the money's going? Is it not saving and spending money that should have been used for taxes as, it's, as though it's your money? Not thinking you'd have to pay the taxes? I'm just very confused. So tell me what your thoughts are. Are you surprised at all that they owe this amount of money or are you not? Let me know in the comments below. Bye guys.